its second medal in this event and its first since the LA Summer Games in 1984 with a jump of 8.39, the longest ever by a bronze medalist from Italy, Mattia Ferlani. And the gold medalist from Greece defending his title. Only one other person has won two titles in the long jump in the Olympics. That's Carl Lewis who won four. But Miltiadlis Tentoglu has now won two in a row. Gentlemen, welcome. If you have questions for the bronze and gold medalists in the long jump, please raise your hand. We'll bring the mic to you. And let's start right here. Hi, I'm Penelope Gioni from Greece. I would like to ask Miltos. So, when you were in your first Olympic Games, you didn't qualify for the final, which is normal for an 18-year-old guy. But right now, you have next to you a 19-year-old guy who won bronze in his first Olympic Games. So, how does this feel? Uh, that's why I tell him all the time, he's crazy. This, what he does is unreal for me, because I've been in his place. So I was also very talented as a young athlete. I was jumping eight meters uh, when I was uh, 18 and 19 years old. So I know how difficult this is. And I was never able to, to do this consistently at that age. I, it took me a lot of time to, to get that good. So this is unreal for him. So congratulations again, amazing. Mattia, can, can you talk about that a little? You're, and Milt, Miltiad is still young, by the way. You're sitting next to a legend of this sport. What does it mean to you as, as a 19-year-old to be sharing the stage with a two-time Olympic gold medalist? Uh, it's really absurd because I, I, I try to, to, to talk in English because oh. I, I, I want to train in my English because <laughs> it's so bad. and uh, This is the, the, the most important thing. Uh, <laughs> training for uh, for do that no because for me it's a really honor because uh, for me is one of the most uh, incredible inspiration Miltadis and uh, I follow him uh, like from I started the long jump is uh, the, the first athlete uh, in, I know it and uh, really uh, now now really now uh, if you open my youtube uh, is present uh, every race with <laughs> with the toggle because uh, i think is uh, one of the the most technical jumper and uh, mentally jumper and uh, uh, i want uh, to 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 grow up with him because he is uh, one of the, the the most athletes in the in the history and uh, a really big uh, great person thank you Okay. Awesome. We're going to have uh, many great battles together <laughs> in the future, for sure. I hope, I hope. Uh, Sean Ingle Guardian, a uh, fantastic battle. Um, sorry, over here. Oh. A fantastic <laughs> battle again. Uh, I very much hope that I'm watching you guys compete in the same format in four years' time. Um, do you have any indication of what, what athletics are going to do now with the board? I know you, you've spoken up very strongly against it. Have they told you anything more? And what would be your message to anyone who saw that and wants it to stay the same in four years' time? Yes, um, I, I would like to stay the same. I have no information. They, uh, they never tell us anything. And uh, World Athletics is doing a lot of uh, wrong decisions, very bad decisions lately. And uh, they are favoring other sport, other events, the running events, and they are completely ignoring the jumps and the throws. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't, uh, already there are many rule changes that make the event uh, completely different from what it was. Uh, for example, I have uh, not the option right now to jump with the spikes that I want to jump in, which is the sprint spikes. 90% of the long jump is sprint, and I'm not uh, able to wear the spikes that I want. And the guys in the 100 meters, 200, uh, 200 meters, they, they can wear them. So it's. it's I don't know how it's going to go. And that. They are not even informing us. I'm, I believe that one day I'm going to go to some competition and they will, and they will be like, 
oh, we've changed the board, it's different now, and they will not know. So, ah, we'll see. Coming back to tonight, you won gold in Tokyo in front of a couple hundred journalists and some athletes. Tonight you won it in front of 70,000 very loud fans. Can you talk about the compete in front of them, so thank you. Mattia, after, after you secured the bronze tonight, who's the first person you called? Well, I think my mother, because my, my mother is one of the most important uh, person in my life, because he's my coach, he's known me 20 hour hour in, uh, in my life, and uh, the, the, the first I do in the scene the, after the race is, is there. Matia, oh, right here. One last, well, last question. Thank you. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 please. I'm glad you raised your hand. Uh, I wanted to ask Miltos about the second consecutive gold. Now you are doing something that only Carl Lewis has done. Well, he's done it like four times, but you have plenty of time for that. How does it feel to be in this very special category and... Uh, I mean, while he doesn't say many good things about long jump at the moment, he's um, have written some tweets, you know, about long jump not being the same like the past years. I agree with him, but not with the same reasons that he has. Um, it's, of course, it's different. You cannot compare uh, generations because a lot of people are different now. Uh, so I respect people that are great in their own generation. He was great in his own. Uh, Dwight Phillips was great in his time, Ivan Pedroso, and uh, Greg Rutherford even. Now it's me, in the future, somebody else. You cannot compare, even if they're greater or not that great, you cannot compare results, for example, I believe. Milto, you are uh, one of the most uh, successful athletes in Greek Team Elas. I want to send one message to the other athletes to come in the next days to play and uh, we hope to win a medal. Uh, yes, uh, first of all, uh, the other athletes of, uh, that has already completed, they inspired me a lot. They gave me motivation. Uh, it's an honor to watch them compete and uh, win or not win, doesn't matter. Uh, they're a fantastic team we have. Uh, and uh, I wish all the best to the remaining uh, athletes. And I hope that I give them a little bit of motivation. Thank you. Last question. Did you have one in the back? All right, if no, oh, right here. No, no. No. Oh, I can't, see, ah, I can't see all the way back there. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Miltiades, um, Daniel Wheeler from the Glena in Jamaica. Congratulations. Um, for the last two years, last year in Budapest, Wayne Pinnock of Jamaica has pushed um, you, you to the title. Obviously, um, Wayne Pinnock second tonight. Um, can you just talk about, in terms of, seems like, you know, a budding rivalry um, between yourself and Pinnock going close, for, um, going for the title for the last two years, and Kerry McLeod getting his um, um, Diamond League victory earlier this season. What is it about, in terms of the emergence of the Jamaican long jumps that has pushed you and, has pu and is pushing you to be the best? Um, they are very strong athletes. I really respect them, all of them. Um, they always perform very well, uh, they are mentally strong and uh, I think this time um, Pinnock, maybe he had some problems uh, with his season, I, I don't know, I don't know that, I'm just assuming that it didn't go very well as he planned, uh, there was also that um, uh, hurricane in uh, Kingston, Jamaica, uh, so, yeah, but 
I'm expecting them to be for many years uh, to come very competitive. Now we'll do one last one, right here. So I'm Panagiotis Votis from Greece. A question to you, Matia. Uh, you had a really big foul today. Uh, what was your goal in terms of meters uh, today? You think you could have improved your uh, world junior record? Yeah, uh, today I I try to 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 circ uh, to to better my 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 world record, but um, uh, 834 is is a crazy result because the consistency I have in this season is uh, is amazing because it's one of the most goal of the this uh, this year and. Uh, like the the game is this uh, try to to be consistent and uh, to grow to the the measure and uh, do another consistency and do it more and uh, i'm so happy for uh, for that and uh, i want to, to to grow up and this race to grow up me for uh, for more result and uh, training me like mentally and physically for uh, for more Mattia Ferlani Miltiadis Tentoglu the present and the future of the long jump and the bronze and gold medalists. Thank you and congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Have a nice night. And we can now stop the stream. Can I leave this here? Is it okay? Yes, of course. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for your patience tonight. Really appreciate it.